One of our recipes was how to cook lobster and how to cook lobster perfectly and understand how to cook lobster. And we chose it because lobster defines those summer days by the beach, which Notkins and the import company that we do is all about, bringing the ocean to the city of Montreal. And so those recipes of how to treat your seafood the best and cleanest and most elegant, easy way possible, that's what we're all about. And so we want to make sure you know how to do that at home. One of the recipes we used in the book was uh, grilling steak, because obviously that's what we do and we do well. And it talks about how to set up your coals using charcoal, the flavors, the type of steak that you should use, and all that fun stuff. We put in the book, one of, my, one of the recipes is actually the picture in the book is the snow crab uh, tart. And picked it because when he needed me to put a recipe in the book, it was snow crab season, so that's <laughs> the whole reason behind it. And it's, and it's delicious. One of the recipes that I chose in the book was the, uh, our brownie, which we've had since the day we've been open for 18 years just about. It's just a recipe that we came up with in-house, uh, lots of experimentations, it's a pretty special brownie. So I thought that that had to go in the book. I picked two recipes, two of the classic at the pastry shop. There's a maple sugar financier, which is one of my favorite cake, and also an éclair, which we always have at the shop, which is seasonal. And this one is with a caramelized apple and spices. Uh, one of the recipes I chose for the book are my grandmother's latkes, and it's something we would have whenever we would go to her house. And it's something that we've replicated at the bakery, so everybody who comes to my bakery can try them. My recipe is a, I have two recipes. The one I'm talking about now is a fall vegetable salad. And uh, basically, it's my take on taking all the fall vegetables and turning them into a salad instead of using lettuce leaves and other types of uh, greens. We've taken all the vegetables that sometimes we take for granted and put them into a salad dish. So I've taken butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, leaves, uh, radishes, Jerusalem artichokes, also fall vegetables like apples, and just tossed it all together with some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Delicious, you can't believe the different textures that happen in your mouth and the, how sweet and ripeness, all the things that happen in fall. I think it's a perfect representation of fall, healthy and tasty. Uh, the recipe that I chose for the book is roasted pepper, gnocchi, a little bit of brown butter and mustard seed. Why I chose this uh, recipe is because uh, I have a large 10-foot fireplace in my restaurant. And I wanted to show how to develop flavors without major proteins. So basically you have red peppers that are roasted over maple wood, gets a lot of caramelization, brings out the sugars, and with goat cheese that's acidic and mustard seeds, I gotta say wow. So that's what it is, red pepper, goat cheese and mustard seed, enjoy. I chose, um, of the two dishes that I uh, put in the cookbook, I would choose the tzimas with the grilled hanger steak. And the reason why I chose that recipe, for one, is that I felt like it really embodied, at the time, the concept of, um, of uh, the, the restaurant that I was working at, which is a sort of neo-Jewish, American-style uh, um, restaurant. Simmons is um, is ultimately a, a Jewish dish. It's a classic Eastern European dish. Generally speaking, it's made with carrots, but I, in this particular cookbook, chose to use other vegetables like squash, uh, potatoes, and it's a sweet dish. So um, it's very like it, it takes salty and sweet sort of to the next the next level.